This is going to be a video on the load and shift test for anterior and posterior shoulder instability. Excessive humeral head translation based on capsule laxity and instability cause temporal narrowing of the subacromial space or the glenohumeral joint relation. Distinct from the provocative tests like the apprehension test or the release test, a laxity test assesses for humeral translation with respect to the glenoid fossa. To perform the test, have your patient in a sitting position with a straight posture and his arms resting on the thighs. Then, with one hand, try to stabilize the clavicle and the spine of the scapula, and with the other hand, grab the humeral head. During the load portion of this test, you are trying to position the humeral head centrally in the glenoid fossa. During the shift portion of the test, you are testing the anterior capsule when you translate the humeral head forward. And you are testing the posterior capsule when you are shifting the head backwards. The test is positive if you can reproduce the patient's symptoms and if the tested side clearly translates further than the other side. A translation up to 25% of the humeral head diameter is considered normal anteriorly and 50% is considered normal posteriorly. Some authors also grade the amount of translation from 1, which means translation up to but not beyond the glenoid rim, to the head feels as if it is riding over the glenoid rim but spontaneously reduced and three, which means subluxation without spontaneous reduction. It is important to notice that anterior laxity is usually accompanied by a tightness of the posterior capsule and vice versa. Alright guys, this was our video on the load and shift test. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out our other videos on shoulder instability like the apprehension or the release test. See you next time. Bye.